again greetings to you all in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ indeed this is my joy and privilege to bring to you the word of god once again through this medium uh before going further i just want to share a good news with you uh a good news that uh we see we live in a world of gurus we see uh, we live in a world of leaders but one of the things that we can see in the life of jesus is that he being the greatest guru the world has ever seen he being the greatest leader the world has ever seen he has walked through all the ways in through in all the ways that we are walking through whether it is through the path of suffering he has already walked in it whether it is through the walk of death uh, through the path of death he has already been through that so the assurance that we get through this what the assurance that we get through this is he we we, uh, we have a leader who can identify with us in our sufferings we have a leader we have a guru we have a master who can see our pain and understand our pain who can empathize with our pain who can empathize with us in our sufferings today morning i just want to uh, 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 grab your attention to one of one of the passages that we see and uh, we, which we often read during the passion uh, passion weeks and which we try to learn from it and we i'll i'll uh, take your attention to one such passage which is in <clears throat> luke chapter 22 verses uh, 39 onwards 39 to 46 Ah, uh, Luke chapter twenty-two, verses thirty-nine to forty-six. I'll just read it for you. And he came out and went, and as his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, "Pray that you may not enter into temptation." And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, saying, "Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done." And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for for sorrow. And he said to them, "Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation." Before going further, let's pray. Abba, we come to your presence, Lord. Thank you for this time. And as we are going to meditate from this word, let your let your spirit may talk to us. Let your spirit may minister to us, Lord. And as we speak, as as I speak, let your people be blessed, Father, Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus in Jesus name I pray amen <clears throat> One of the back uh, one of the backdrop of this passage that I would like to bring to you is uh, this is a passage that shows this is these are the few moments that Jesus uh, spends just right before his betrayal and his crucifixion uh, this was the night before he was betrayed this was this was on the night the, uh, when he was betrayed by his own disciple Jesus and uh, what we see what we see is jesus is in an agonizing situation jesus is in an extremely uh, painful situation where he cannot he that is something that is unbearable for him that is something that is very unbearable for him and we see uh, in the uh, verse 39 it it is written and he came out and went as his custom to the mount of olives and the disciples followed him what we can see from here what we can understand from here and he came out and went as was his custom one one thing we need to understand uh, when we look uh, this same passage in different other gospels other three gospels other two gospels uh, though it is not specifically mentioned in the gospel of john but matthew and mark also mentioned about this in uh, the experience of gethsemane gethsemane experience in the uh, in their gospels what we can see what one particular thing that luke brings out here is you know visiting gethsemane visiting the place of gethsemane visiting that mount of olive was a regular custom of jesus was a regular practice of jesus was something that was very part and parcel of the, of jesus's life what now one one thought first thing that what we can learn from here is you know jesus 
first thing that we need to look at jesus situation jesus is in uttermost uh, depression or uttermost uh, uh, distressing time of his life and he is he knows that he is about to die and he can uh, pictureize everything that is going to happen with him in front of his eyes he can visualize everything that just like watching a movie you know he can visualize everything that is going to happen with him and out of that fear out of that agony out of that uh, pain his even it is written his 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 sweat came out a came out as blood now uh, according to some of scientific researchers as we see uh, the coming out of blood as a sweat is the the extreme uh, situation when a person goes through extreme stress extreme tension that is something that is unbearable so what we need to understand is jesus in in such jesus is in such a situation where is not able to comprehend himself comprehend his situation where he is not able to uh, you know grasp his situation where is going through utter utter distress and utter uh, kind of pain and agonizing situation in his life and what what is the response of jesus what we see he, it is it is written he went to the mount of olives he went to the mount of olives just as was his custom why now now one one thing that we can learn from here is when we go through certain problems when what, what, first of all let me start with what it is uh, what is this place called mount of olives what is this place called gethsemane for jesus this gethsemane was a place of deeper intimacy with his father for jesus this gethsemane was a place of prayer for jesus for jesus this gethsemane this this place of gethsemane was a time to spend in uh, spend in union with his father and we, what we see is this this was a very custom of jesus it was his daily routine as if we say you no know, uh, as we eat every day as we drink every day as we sleep every day in the same manner jesus visited this mount uh, mount of olives or this garden of gethsemane every day now what we see you, you know when we go through such situations when we go through such traumatizing situation in our lives what where do we visit often where do we visit often do we visit our human uh, humanly created uh, gethsemanes or where we see where we approach god is it that we approach god during our distress situation or is it we approach some other people or we approach our own uh, our own uh, we, we seek to find our own solutions for our own problems we need to understand what the, the i i just want to bring to you the importance of visiting gethsemane in our christian journey the importance of visiting gethsemane in our uh, christian journey first thing that we need to understand when we go through this pain and this agonizing situation it is the best place to visit the gethsemane but gets it is the best place to visit the gethsemane now one thing that we need to understand is uh in the in the verse uh, uh in the verse uh, 41 it says and he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed saying father if you are willing remove this cup from me nevertheless not my will but yours be done second thing that i would like to bring to you getsemane is the place where you would surrender yourself to the will of god i would say jesus in humanly speaking in human terms jesus would have never willed to 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 die for this whole humanity jesus would have never willed to 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 take the pain for the whole humanity but but he surrendered he surrendered in front of the will of god he surrendered he chose to die for you and me he chose to bear the burden of that sin of whole humanity uh, but how could he do that how could he do that because he 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 prioritized the will of god rather than his will now my friends how can we do that many often we are faced with such situations when we are faced with such options either to prioritize our will or to prioritize god's will now if we want to prioritize god's will this is the place this is the where this is where we own it is only through a deep intimacy with god it is only through a deep getsemane relationship with god that that you can conform to the will of god that you can accept the will of god even if it is 
unbearable for you even if it is painful for you my dear friends now this is the time when we see jesus himself is praying father if 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 it is possible i know it is possible for you this is my will that you would remove this cup from me you you would remove this suffering from me but no god but i surrender myself to your will this is the result of that get some an experience that jesus had been going through you know all throughout his ministerial life he had been visiting this get some an he has been visiting this get some an for past 3 3 and half years and he has been preparing himself for, to accept this day to to receive this day my dear friends when we go through such situations and when we are uh, when we are faced with such situation to choose between our will and god's will how how are we how are we are we ready are we ready to accept that i accept the god's will and if you want to accept god's will then you need to have a regular get seven experience you need to have a regular a regular visit a regular visit to get seven how often do you visit to your get seven let me see get seven could be your prayer room get so many it could be your your intimate time with god all alone from everyone aloof from everyone removing every distractions every other people every other priorities every other things from your life and going into the soul presence of god that is your get seven now the question is how often do we visit get seven first question that first thing that want to uh, ask first thing that i want you to ponder upon how often do you visit your get seven when you when when you go through such situation when you go through such agonizing and painful situations and second thing how often you are able to prioritize god's will over your will and if you want to do that you need to visit your get seven you need to have that get seven experience every day you need to make get someone as your custom as your part and parcel of your life next thing what we see is 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 here that 43 verse and there appeared to him an angel from heaven strengthening him this is the best thing that we 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 can see this is the best thing that we can see you know one thing our god is not a god who leaves us in the midst of our troubles a god is not uh, is not a god who leaves us to to suffer alone who 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 leaves us to be, uh, be in pain always but he is the one he 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 gives us strength even in the midst of our sufferings even in the midst of our pains you know what we uh, jesus said be brave be courageous because I, you you will have problems you will have struggles in this world but i have overcome this world i have overcome this world in by that by that jesus would have meant you know jesus would have meant to say you know i have already been through what you are going through now so be joyful my strength is there for you my power is there for you to go through this you know get some an experience third thing get some an experience or the the, the visitation of get some an is required for you to receive the necessary strength that you need to face the trials of your day to face the the problems of your day to face the pain to bear the pain of your day you know we we see how how beautiful it is you know 43 verse says and there appeared to him an angel from heaven strengthening him get some an is a place to receive the strength from the lord you know if we are seeking our strength in the worldly things that strength might go might go uh, sh- uh, might go less in very short time you know you you might you might run short of that strength but the gra- the, the grace that strength that, that comes from lord it is uh, it's it it, it is or oh, it, it it increases by time to time it increases as your relationship with god increases my dear friends when you go through such situations when you go through such agonizing situations when you go through such painful situations remember that your strength you can you you can find your strength in the getsemane where you are intimately in relationship with god when you are very close to your abba father when you are very close to uh, to do the will of god in your life 
my dear friends if we are ready to do the will of god in our life if we are ready to surrender ourselves to the will of god then god will give the necessary strength that is required for us to do this will to do the will let me repeat again if we are ready to do the will of god in our lives then god will give you give us the necessary strength that is required to do his will my dear friends another thing next thing that i won't like to bring to your uh, focus is that what is getsemane why is so prominent getsemane is needed getsemane experience is needed to 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 uh, to, to to run to face the temptations of the day to face the temptations of the day humanly speaking we 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 believe that jesus was fully human and fully divine but speaking from the humanity as a human aspect of jesus jesus would have had the temptation to to you know to to leave the cross to leave the suffering but what made him stick on to that cross is the getsemane experience with the father what made him to stick on to the cross is his getsemane experience with the father his intimate relationship with the father my dear friends when we go through some tempestuous uh, periods when we are faced with such temptations a temptation to betray jesus a temptation to uh, to, to to say no to jesus when uh, when agonizing periods comes we see in the life of peter uh, jesus was jesus was preparing him you be prepared my dear boy you'll be prepared when you face questions you be prepared to answer those questions you be prepared you be prepared to uh, to face the temptation of neglecting jesus of rejecting jesus or betraying jesus when people question about you my dear friends there will be questions when you go through pain when you go through agonizing situations people might ask you where is your god where is your jesus and in that scenario if you really want to access to the presence of god if you really want to be be with the god you need to have that the getsemane experience you need to prepare yourself in your getsemane to face the cross of your day you know you need to prepare yourself in the presence of god to face to take up the cross carrying the cross is not that easy but if you are if you are ready to spend enough time in getsemane if you are ready to spend enough time with god in solitude then let me make you assure my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters that he will give you enough strength that to to go through that experience of pain to go through that experience of agony my dear friends i i just want to end my short meditation here many a times we go through such situations we go through such painful and agonizing situations first thing that we need to understand i'll, ju- I'll just close my words here we need to prioritize visiting at Ag- getsemane every day let this be our priority that i will spend my time with my lord to face the challenges of my days second thing to in order to understand the will of god i need to visit the getsemane in order to understand in in order to submit myself to the will of god i need to have that getsemane experience i need to have that gets uh, the, the experience of getsemane in my life second third thing in order to have uh, in order to receive that strength from the lord in order to receive that strength from the lord in order to uh, in order to face the challenges of my time i need that get some money experience from god i need to spend my time in get some money in order to in order to another thing last thing that i want to share is in order to uh, resist the temptations of my days resist the temptations in my life i need to have that ex, ex, uh, the, uh, preparatory period in the presence of god my dear friends as we look forward to live our lives as we look forward to have this e- a week of passion week and as we look forward to have uh, we, we remember the death and resurrection of jesus christ we remember the life of jesus christ let this become a reality let this become a necessity that whoa, my jesus has already been through and i can through his power i also can go through this same situations my dear friends as we go through let this be our prayer let this be our prayer Lord, Lord let me experience your your grace in my uh, agonizing situations may god bless uh, all of us through this meditation god bless you all thank you mm-hmm.